So Me Too is being attributed to the actress Alyssa Milano. Um, but uh, I'm reading here an article uh, on Ebony that explains that uh, the activist Tarana Burke, who uh, is a black woman, actually created uh, Me Too uh, as a grassroots movement to aid sexual assault survivors uh, like a decade ago. Here's a quote that she gave to Ebony. She said, it wasn't built to be a viral campaign or a hashtag that is here today and forgotten tomorrow. It was a catchphrase to be used from survivor to survivor to let folks know that they were not alone. And that a movement for radical healing was happening and possible. And so um, uh, Burke has expressed that she uh, feels really positively about uh, what has happened with the hashtag Me Too over the past weekend. And I'm not implying that I think Alyssa Milano like intentionally ripped her off, but more that there is a, a lack of like historical social memory around these kinds of moments. Because I feel like it wasn't that long ago that Yes, All Men was going on. And um, as uh, Sadie Doyle has written in Elle and as Lindy West has also written in the New York Times this week, um, you know, these social justice, uh, social media rooted grassroots movements um are sort of cyclical. And there is this problem uh, as uh, Tarana Burke said of it um, being here today and gone tomorrow. So like what is to come of all of these uh, Me Too hashtags? Um, And so what was happening was over the weekend that a lot of um, sexual assault and sexual harassment survivors were tweeting either their stories or maybe just the hashtag Me Too. But sort of the idea behind it was that um, if anyone who if anyone who has been sexually harassed or assaulted tweets me too then other people will have a sense of the immensity of the scope of sexual abuse uh you know worldwide and i totally um recognize how important social media can be to organizing and to finding community and to having conversations or to reporting information that might not otherwise be reported. But I feel like the only, like, frankly, I feel like the only person who could say, oh, I didn't realize sexual assault or sexual harassment was so widespread is is a man. And uh, I guess I feel like and again, uh, like this has been echoed by Sadie Doyle and by Lindy West and by many other writers. Um, There is this aspect of Me Too that I think is troubling because it's essentially asking survivors to make themselves vulnerable, to out themselves, uh, just to be believed, just so that survivors can be believed, like not even so that legislation can happen around sexual assault, not even so that people who assault women will be brought to trial more efficiently. It's like this whole movement seems to be serving the purpose of just getting men to believe that sexual abuse and sexual harassment happens all the time. And um I just wish that it didn't take survivors making themselves publicly vulnerable for people to pay attention or to believe that sexual abuse and sexual harassment are so widespread. And because it isn't just like um, letting men know that this is happening to people they know, but it's I think it's also supposed to like be like, um, uh, what's the phrase I'm thinking of? Like, um, like the the mass, like so that that. So many people are saying this, like that. That yeah, it's a large yeah. number. So we, that's why we should notice, take notice of it. But uh, I mean, like, but for women, it's like we've known aren't we've never not known sexual harassment or sexual assault, like to an extent, right? Like, I yeah. in my personal life, I cannot think of one woman that I would know who has never been sexually harassed or sexually assaulted. Honestly, like seriously. Right. Um, yes. It's just something that like we innately know. And so it, it isn't even just that like um, women have to bear the responsibility then of coming forward and saying, hey, this has this happened to me and, um, you know, doing that type of emotional labor. Uh, but then like we also have to like show how we're being affected like en masse, like as a, as a gigantic group. But like we're so familiarized with this notion that like we will like at one point in our life be um you know at the other end of a sexual harassment or sexual assault that's just 
how it is to be in a patriarchal world, right? Um, yeah. And that, like, and that when we have to perform this for people because they don't understand that, that's, I think, what was kind of, like, icky about it or, like, um, felt really unproductive. It's, like, like, why can't, why isn't it just that, like, just the fact that even if it didn't happen to literally every single woman who's ever been born um, on the face of this earth, um, even if it just <laughs> happened to, like, two women, you know, like, we should take it very seriously because, like, somebody's being um, marginalized or hurt on something that, like, they can't control, um, you know, like, th- th- by the fact that, like, they are a uh, certain gender. So it's like, it's like, why do we, it's kind of like, it, it, I mean, in a way, it kind of reflects, like, why we have to, re- like, remind um, people in a white supremacist um, culture that black lives matter, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, like, I think that's different because... And that that came from a place of like, um, let's like let's, let's talk about what it means to say Black Lives Matter and like in this culture in this society. But for this, I think that like for women, it they're saying it in a way where it's just like, I matter because I'm telling you a secret about myself, you know, about how I was like violated in a very intimate way. And mm-hmm. I think that like the, this onus that's being put on women to like share that in order to like um, gain empathy to like create culture change um, really speaks to like how deeply ingrained misogyny is in our culture that like we have to like bear ourselves um, in order to like in a way beg because me too me too can be like hand raising power you know but me too can also feel like oh fuck me too you know Mm -hmm. like oh fuck let let me show you this wound I have um, from this really horrific thing so that you can maybe feel an ounce of empathy for what I'm going through and that so maybe you can think about your own behavior or the behavior of like other men in your lives and how it affects women Um, and I I, and I I think that like I'm not I mean I think it's a good start to a conversation but it needs like you're saying what more is it than the hashtag Mm 